So I'm going to rig a Pearson that we have sitting on a Pearson dolly. So this is uh, 29940. It's actually Birger Janssen's old boat that uh, our fleet in Annapolis purchased. And so this is an example I want to show you of rigging uh, a boat that's on a dolly uh, that's fairly low to the ground. So it's for somebody my size, I'm uh, about five foot ten. It's pretty easy to get the rig up uh, by yourself. So first thing we're going to do, we have uh, we have our shrouds and forestay uh, all nice and neat and coiled up. The halyards are all uh, attached to the mast, and uh, you know I think it's the most important to uh, to always have a system. So basically, you do it the same way every time. So you just get to a regatta, get your mast down, get your shrouds ready. First thing is to get the forestay unrolled, clipped in. And this is a sidewinder. T fittings go in the tang, turn 90 degrees. Ring dings pointed down to the base of the mast. Yeah, that way if they fall out, the rings won't, the pins won't fall out. So something else to check once you get your, your shrouds and your forestay on. Quick thing to check is that the main halyard is not through the, a lot of times it's easy to get the, the halyard in the wrong side of the triangle, make sure that's okay. And then the jib halyard um, runs cleanly. That way you don't have to try to fix that once the mast up. That's kind of a pain. This isn't a tuning video. Something I wanted to just point out real quick on how to, how to do this measurement is to measure the length of the spreaders. Just take your tape measure, put the tape, the end of the tape against the mast and measure to the middle of the shroud. Uh, put these swept back as far as you can. Go across the shrouds and measure the distance, and that's your spreader angle. I often hear that referred to as tip to tip. When you sight this way, that your the angle of each spreader is the same. Okay, once that's all set, take the mass in the center. it up, the butt on the ground, and since this boat's on a dolly, what I usually do, I'll take my one knee and put it up on the deck so I'm not leaning over, so I have better stability. A swift but controlled motion straight up into the hole, straight sight down. And once you get it in the hole, it's a lot more stable. Then holding onto the mast, first thing I do is put the mast lever on, or if you've got the new setup with, uh, with lines, get those all attached, because this will give the mast some stability. Then you can use your mass controls uh, to let the mass go aft and then connect, the, connect your shrouds, whether you have uh, stay masters or pins. Uh, 
Um, so for, for stay and for stay and jib jib halyard need to go in different holes. And then the next thing to do is to get all of your control lines on. And I have a certain way that I take these off and put them back on. So it I can do it consistently every time. Of course, like Geraldine Veal says, snipes are like children. No, no two snipes are the same. So every, everybody's boat's going to be a little bit different and we'll have slightly different rigging. But we love them all the same. Right. It's like all basically children. the same idea. So once that, we, then I just get the bang connected to the boom. Okay, we're going to rig the pole launcher line. Comes out of the end of the pole here. So it's either got a block or a ring or something that helps keep the line up out of the skipper in the crew's face. And down through, through this. A lot of the newer boats have a collar here. And this block is affixed in different ways, depending on the boat. Down through here. One other thing is when you're not using your pole, when you take it, take the end off the jib, um, either put a little stopper ball on it or always make sure that you tie it onto the pole because there's nothing worse than packing your boat up, inadvertently pulling the launcher line and pulling the, uh, pulling the line uh, through the pole. That's no fun to re-thread. Uh, but a stopper ball on there is nice also so if it com comes undone from the jib, um, on the water, then it, you won't lose the line. Have to rethread it on the water, which is always tricky. A couple of finishing tips: uh, some shock cord to hold the force stay forward. The way it goes on this boat, down to this little bridle that holds the force stay out of the way, so the pole doesn't get caught in a jibe. Pretty simple. Pretty much any kind of shock cord down to the, the bow of the boat.